Hello everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Uh, this is Showboat and today... Well... The weather says it's going to rain tomorrow. Okay... These birds are somewhat annoyed. Luck will not be on my side. No, it will not, apparently. Hey, things. Cool. We have we have stuff. Stuff and things that I need to process. Oh, hello, kitty. Hey, you're doing all right. Glorious and beautiful wine that I should be making more of. What am I going to use to make more wine? And what were these melon wines? Absolutely make more melon wine. Glorious melon wine. I'm going to sh ship two of them. We're going to keep a third. Because thinking about it, I... I have not even remotely prepared for the uh, festival that's coming up. Partway through this season. I have not planned for that. So. Oh well. Really? Really? Why? No. Stupid lightning. Destroying my crops. So, last time I was discussing the whole situation while I was away with that, the move and all of that. And, uh, yeah, I will continue that discussion today. Well, preferably this will be the last time I really discuss it, per se. So, I mentioned towards the end of the last video that we got a new 60-inch 4K TV that uh, I did wall mount, uh, and in the process, I made holes in the wall to add in an outlet where the TV would be, as well as get an HDMI behind the wall even doing I don't I don't even know even I don't know what I'm doing right now and uh, the way I did it was with a uh, keystone jack so I got this recessed wall plate for the power and for a two keystone single gang thingy and in that I have the HDMI which is pass-through so there's a completely separate HDMI cord that goes behind the wall and then down to where the receiver is and uh, yeah it's got a uh, Ethernet there as well wired Ethernet connect connection so everything is good on that front the thing was when I was adding in that uh, outlet straight up above the outlet that was at the base of this situation was uh, shall we say not to code in the remote slightest. You're selling eggs. I sort of need eggs. I'm gonna get pomegranate this season. So I don't need to worry about that, but I do need to think about eggs. I, I need a large egg, don't I? Hmm. Yes, I need a large egg. But I'm not going to worry about paying that much money for one now. Seems like a terrible idea to pay that much money right now for one of those.
Especially when I should be saving money with which to unlock access to the Calico Desert. I think that's our current goal, if I remember right. Which I probably don't remember right, but anyway. This is what we're doing for now. Uh, I also remember that I need to do fishing this season. For more fishies. Must have more fishies. So, the outlet that was right below where I was going to put the TV, it was a three-prong outlet. The house doesn't have all that many three-prong outlets in it, but this was a three-prong outlet. And when I pulled it out to do the addition straight up the wall, I noticed something very, very, very bad. Like... It was extremely bad for this to be a thing. What I found was that this three-prong outlet wasn't actually grounded. It was grounded to itself. Like, it had the little pins in the back. Yeah, uh, and uh, I really want to buy one of those, but I can't right now. I really shouldn't. I really, I really shouldn't right now. I need, I need Calico Desert access first, sadly. Yeah, it had the, a ground wire piece that was on its screw and then punched into its back in the same spot. So it's like, what? Really? And the wire that goes to down the chain back to the uh, breaker box, yeah, that was that didn't have a ground wire in it at all. So, yeah, that that's fun. And uh, what was even more noteworthy is that on the other side of it, going to the remaining outlets that were in the chain, was a much newer uh, electrical wiring that had a ground wire in it. So at some point, someone did new wiring to wire up a couple of extra outlets down the line, and uh, huh. they saw that this was a thing at that spot, and they had to have known that it was not to code. Like, not even in the slightest, so... Yeah, that's a... that was a fire hazard. Um... I was just going to replace that outlet with a, uh... Tamper-resistant one, as I was going to do with every other outlet in the house. Making them all three-pronged, because I had assumed... That, uh, there was ground wiring behind all of the outlets, as we were told by... Uh, the... Uh, buyer's realtor that my mother was using. So, obviously that's not the case because it seems now that even if you can physically see the ground wires behind some outlets, they may not actually be connected to the breaker box all the way. So, that could be a problem with the other outlets in the house. Now, fortunately enough, I think I might be able to replace the old wiring, but for now, what I've done, I've actually looked this up. What you can do in this situation is use basically a, uh, a bathroom outlet, one of those ones that's self-tripping, like its own breaker type of situation. You get one of those, which we had three of those, to replace the three that we had in the house. There goes that. Um, use one of those in place. And uh, apparently doing that and having three prong outlets further up the chain protected by one of those is to code. 
and they don't need to ha they don't need to be grounded either uh, I, there's like a provision that says it needs to be labeled as such that it's under the control of one of those types of plugs but yeah anyway so yeah we I did that and then connected up the other thingy up above which in and of itself that uh, there was not a lot of room in the box to do all this wiring where that outlet was located there was not a lot of room at all it was an old metal box which again is like one of those things it's like why is there a metal box here rather than a plastic one for this outlet to live in because then the box needs to be grounded too it's like, oh goodness gracious, this is going to be a lot of work, and I'm going to need a Dremel to get the thing out in the first place. Oh, joy. Definitely found out something new about the house on that day. That's for certain. But uh, it's worked out so far, anyway. And it's not like the TV itself even has a three-prong outlet anyway. And by that I mean the, the, the plug for the TV isn't three, it's two. Even though there's a three-pronged outlet that uh, it's plugged into. So it's not like having a three-prong outlet there even mattered in the first place. Oddly enough. But yeah, it's it's going to be a pain. But uh, I when I did install the plates for, you know, that Ethernet and that HDMI I mentioned earlier, when I got the plates put into the wall for that, down where I would have the receiver, our new 4K receiver, by the way, um, that was a hole for a three-gang uh, low-voltage plate thingy. And, uh, I actually used that hole to help get the, uh, power wire up to where it needed to be. Which was wonderful. It's like, oh, it's a good thing I had planned all this out beforehand. It's almost, <laughs> it's, it's almost like this was intended to be this way. So, yeah, it was, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. I still need to actually connect the, you know, the actual Ethernet cable that goes all the way to the modem. That will be a pain because I have to drill through concrete in the floor behind the wall. I actually have to do it from underneath as well. Because that's what they did when they did the wiring for the power. They didn't bother doing it before the wall was in. No, no, no. They did the outlets after, and, uh... <laughs> yeah, they didn't go through any studs. They went straight down to the foundation and in the crawl space under the house and put the wires there. That's what, that's what they did. Which means that they did drill. So that's what I'm going to have to do with all the other stuff that I need to do there. So I'm going to have an Ethernet that goes down there. I'm going to have audio wires that go down there. Why did I go to town? I need to go to the bus stop. Because I also have a whole audio setup that I want to have behind the walls as well. Basically, I don't want any wires showing, period, in the entire setup. That's like the goal. Right now, everything is just set up, period. There's lots of wires showing pretty much everywhere. I need to get rid of them. I spent all this time talking about that TV setup. I didn't even talk about what we did for Thanksgiving. Because we did, we did things for Thanksgiving. Well, we did two things. So you saw Arrival... Which was amazing, by the way. It's definitely worthy of the praise that it's getting. 
And uh, we went out to eat. Because I was sort of leaving the next day. We didn't bother actually cooking actually cooking a Thanksgiving dinner. So, we went to this place called Texas de Brazil. Which, uh, <sighs> it's like... And it's like an all-you-can-eat buffet, but there's waiters that come around with a whole bunch of very fancy meat. And just give you as much meat as you would ever want. And on this day, we're talking about rack of lamb, leg of lamb, um, filet mignon. Just tons of wonderful, expensive meat. Beautiful, wonderful, exp and ex very expensive meats. Uh, and I, I loved every bit of it. It was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I did get enough to process these. And one of those. Do I even have any, like, spare coal? I do. I do have spare coal. Cool. Where are my battery packs? Here. And that, and that, and that, and that can all be stored, and I think I want to ship pretty much everything else. I have these geodes that need to go in, and... Oh, those. Those need to be stored. The rest can all get sold. Cool. Very cool. Not there. There. There we go. Money. I like money. Money is awesome. So yeah, it was it was a wonderful dinner. It was a wonderful dinner. We almost missed the movie because of it. We were there for so long, but uh. Yeah, so that was that was my time away. The the highlights over two videos of my time away. With that, I would like to thank you all for watching. Uh, this has been Showboat, and I will see you next time.